Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to display shapes with SVG. The last challenge created an SVG element with a given width and height, which was visible because the background color applied to the style tag. The code made space for the given width and height. The next step is to create a shape to put in the SVG area. There are a number of supported shapes in SVG, such as rectangulars and rectangles and circles. They are used to display data. For example, a rectangle or a rect SVG shape should create a bar in a bar chart. When you place a shape into an SVG area, you can specify where it goes with X and Y coordinates. The origin point of 0, 0 is the upper left corner. Positive values for X push the shape to the right, and positive values for Y push the shape down from the origin point. To place a shape in the middle of a 500 pixel or 500 width by 100 height SVG from the last challenge, the X coordinate would be 250 and the Y coordinate would be 50 because 250 is half of 500 and 50 is half of 100. An SVG rect or for rectangle has four attributes. There's X and a Y coordinates <clears throat> for where it is placed in the SVG area. It also has a height and width to specify the size. So we want to add a rectangle or RECT shape to the SVG using a pen and give it a width attribute of 25 and a height attribute of 100. Also give the rect X and Y attributes each set to zero. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to pull this guy out. And so if we want to start off, we're going to uh, tab out to here. So we're uh, in line with the rest of the um, the chained um, uh, methods. And so we want to, first off, we're going to add one. So up here, uh, what does it say? Add a rect shape to the SVG using append. So we've already got the SVG added. We've got the height and the width set. And so what we want to do is add a rect. So we're going to say append and give it, I think that's all we go for there. And then we're going to say, uh, give it a width attribute. So ATTR uh, width. And we want to do that of 25. And we want to also give it an ATTR of height, a attribute of 100. Also give the rect a X and Y attribute each set to zero. So ATTR. Oh, I think we want to append RECT. Cool. So now we've got a bar here. And we want to give this a X. Also give the X and Y attributes each set to zero. So X is set to zero. And ATTR Y is set to zero. Um, cool. Let's run the test and see what happens. All right. So that's what they were looking for here. Um, I think the key, if you're struggling with this one and you don't know why you can't pass the test, uh, make sure that RECT is in is a string being passed into the append one. And then you've got each one of these elements. Uh, it's a string followed by an integer. And that's kind of your the key to success here. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we'll see you in the next lesson.